My name is Tom Keenan. I'm the sales director with uh, ID Tech X. Um, we're here in Santa Clara, California at our 2018 edition of the ID Tech X show. And my guest today is uh, Nicola Brambilla uh, and Dr. John Cooley from uh, Nanoramic Laboratories. How are you doing today? Very good. Great, great. Now, uh, I understand that you've got a new composite composite electrode. How does this differ from the current electrode? Yeah, so this is a binder-free electrode. Right. Uh, and actually, let me, let me grab it so you can see it. Which means that it is composed 100% by carbon. There is no polymer binder here. Right. So this gives us uh, a lot of advantages, including very low uh, ESR uh, when it comes to a supercapacitor. Right. And also very high capacitance per unit of volume. Uh, the fact that there is no binder also makes it very stable at high temperature, Right. Uh, which is uh, something that a lot of companies are actually looking for right now. So right. stability at uh, 85 Celsius or even higher temperature with off-the-shelf electrolytes. Yeah, so that's a huge benefit for an application Absolutely. like this. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and the chip uh, ultra capacitor is the world's first uh, reflow low ESR EDLC on the market. How is this a game changer uh, for the SMD energy storage? Well, yeah, so this is uh, uh, an SMD capacitor, um, which means that can uh, be reflow, uh, which means that it can go at the 260 Celsius, uh, and this is compatible with uh, basically the process that is uh, mostly used in the electronics industry uh, to solder the components on a board. This is thanks to our binder free electrode and other components that are very stable at high temperature. Right. Um, and this makes it probably the, you know, the first low ESR uh, EDLC that can also be reflown. And uh, it's a very low profile. Uh, it's a, uh, this one is about 2.3 millimeter uh, thick. And you know, it's, very, um, it's a very small size. As you can see, it's 11 millimeter by 8 millimeter. Uh, and this, you know, uh, we think could be a game changer for uh, SSD applications uh, to replace polymer tantalum capacitors today. Okay, great, fantastic. Now, um, I understand you've got a thermal interface material. How will nan Nanoramics thermal interface material improve consumer electronics? Yep. Sure, so this is actually a, um, this is it here. This is a sample of the thermal interface material, which we call a TIM. TIM for short. Right. It's actually also a nano composite, so it's our first polymer nano composite. It's, it's our, also our first non-energy storage composite technology. So it's a thermal interface material, which means that it has very good thermal conductivity and very good surface proper properties for interfacing electronic components and heat sinks. Um, this is actually a two millimeter gap, gap filler, and it actually has uh, outperformed silver paste in a high-end consumer electronics application. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, that's some some really uh, 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 advanced stuff there that, you, that yeah. you've been working on. Um, tell us a little bit about this. Sure. So this is actually our first product. It's uh, commercial today. It's a high temp. It's the world's first actually high temperature ultra capacitor, and and actually the world's first high temperature rechargeable energy storage device. Uh, this is a 353rd device that operates at 150 degrees Celsius down to minus 40 degrees Celsius. Um, it's sort of like a D, D cell form factor. And then this, this is a, a double A form factor that's about, uh, this is about 35 farads, same, same temperature specs. Um, and these are currently sold into industrial applications and also downhole oil and gas drilling applications. Yeah. Fantastic, well that's fantastic. Well, how are you finding the ID Tech X show and, and why did you choose our uh, ID Tech X show? Um, so far, it's been great. Uh, very relevant contacts and customers, investors, all those kinds of things. Um, we chose the show because we have broadened recently to, um, to pursue advanced materials opportunities based on our composite technology, and we felt that this was a good venue based on the participants and the technology sectors addressed great. here. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. Well, I appreciate both your time. Thank you very much. And I hope you have a Thank great you. event, and we'll see you next year. Thanks Absolutely. Thank right. you very much.